Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I got a little project today. Thought you might want to check it out. So, I got this redwood clump here. And this is pretty normal here in Northern California. These trees that, uh, these redwoods that grow really close together like this. And it really can be kind of a pain to get in there and get anything started. And so there is kind of a method to doing this, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. So, the, the goal is to take these and get them down here into lead. Um, it would be easiest to start with this one here, but unfortunately, the one behind it, the limbs are, it's kind of sticking out further. And so it needs to be sawed up as well. And uh, as you can see, that's going to be really hard to get in there. And the reason is, is you want to look for the tree that kind of sticks out the most or leans down the most, kind of the tree you want to start with so that it's not pushing your your limbs on the other ones aren't uh, pushing your trees off to the side so that's what i would say is your front runner or the one you want to get first but you can see it's not exactly in the best position so what we're going to do is take a face out of the front of it and i'll show you how it doesn't have to be pretty just functional. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that's got out in the general direction. Um, and the hard part is getting that back cut in when you can't see anything. So I'm just gonna mark it here so when I get behind there, I can have a general idea where to put that back cut. Uh, where's my hard hat? All right, I'm going to get in behind and saw that up. Probably better to leave more hinge than less hinge. I can't even tell what tree I was working on. Okay, there's my mark. All right, couldn't see it. Okay, there's the mark. I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. Important not to cut the hinge off here. It's really working in the dark. You can't really tell what you're doing. So it's kind of got to feel, feel it out. I know my quarter's right there, so I just gotta kinda work that wood in there.
Okay. Well, you can see it wasn't real pretty, but got it out of there. That was the first tree that needed to come out. So that was uh, that was a good, good accomplishment there. This one, put it down there too. I'm gonna slice this out of the way. wants to be a pain. Okay. want to be cautious about pulling a snag top or something over on you. Oh, looking good, but... Okay. Looking good so far, guys. All right. Now, I can get down and get this one. That is indeed the next one, all right.
that'll help us get a little lower stop. I'm just clearing a path there so I can get out of here and not get hit by any limbs. That's another thing in these clumps when they pull past each other they, they like to pull limbs out so it's good to clear. Can't hardly get my power head out of here. There we go. Might be hanging up on the the other tree a little bit. Looks like it's safe to come down and cut the other tree from the other side. Make this a little easier.
Okay, well, got a different plan for this one. They kind of need to go on that side of the stump, but I've got some timber back here that I want to funnel in first and use that ground there and then take these and put them here. That should be the better way to go. But that's that's what I wanted to get on this side of the clump at least, was get that part out. And so that is part of the clump. And as you can see, it's a bit of a surgical process uh, dissecting these redwood clumps. Kind of have to think it out and figure out which tree to go first and how and <clears throat> the safest and best way to do this operation. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.